This is the oldest indigo in the world that we know of. What you're seeing are cleaned up versions of the, of the textiles. They originally were really black, sooty, diff really difficult to analyze. I've never seen such difficult textiles to analyze. While I was analyzing them, I noticed that a lot of them had blue in them. The textiles have, had, they came out of the ground mixed with a, um, uh, with the building materials. Bucca Pieta is this massive black pre-ceramic mound that dates from about 7,600 years ago to about 3,800 years ago. Artificial man-made mound right on the coast of North Peru. It's earthen, but it also has architecture inside of it. And it's very unique in a lot of ways. We worked about six, seven years at the site excavating very large portions of it off the mound and on the mound as well. During that process, in the deeper levels, we found these cotton textiles and, and twisted cotton fibers and radiocarbon dated them back to about 6,500 years ago. In Peru, there, there's been early evidence for cotton, but this was the first time we actually found twined cotton fibers and these early textiles, and then in addition to that, uh, some of these earlier ones around 6,500 years ago had this indigo on them. We, we would most likely not have blue jeans today if it was not for the South Americans, because if it weren't for them, we would not probably be wearing cotton. We tend to be European focused in our history, you know, and what we learn in history. But it's specifically important, I think, to those people who are coming from South America, many of whom have uh, have indigenous ancestors, you know, and, and I think it's really important for them to know that they descended from people who were really um, sophisticated in their use of technologies and um, they were incredible farmers.